Virginia Breweries Limited has given the green light for the production of Senita Keg beer at its Kisumu Brewery after a successful test of the production process. Now, it's all systems go after the first Senita Keg pint was test tasted at the Kisumu Brewery by the KBL Top Brass, led by Managing Director Jane Karuku at 9.55 a.m. earlier Tuesday marking a major milestone for the 15 billion shilling investment. The test tasting was performed exactly one year and five days since the refurbishment of the brewery was first commissioned in July last year. KBL Supply Chain Director uh, Patrick Kamugi said that the brewer was invested in the state of the art equipment, and the latest brewing technology. Um, effluent treatment plant to water treatment and then all the brewing vessels until um, the keg line, which is the last of the equipment. And um, uh, all those uh, equipments are now in place. Two weeks ago, they were not, some of them. And now we have reached a point where we, we feel in another uh, 10 days, uh, when the product is going through the, the, the motions, we should have um, you know, more beer in the keg and you, you can be able to sell in the marketplace. Well, indeed, our very own Kevin Ogutu has been at, well, that general area trying to test whether exactly the Senator Keg is up to scratch. He now joins us live from, well, the general area of Kisumu and is bringing us up to speed on what exactly is going on. Please, Kevin, take it away. A very good afternoon, Wakaba. Actually, we started with a bit of sporting activities here. Uh, by the launch of Opich Pacho tournament, courtesy of East African Breweries Limited. So this is, will comprise 35 teams drawn from the 35 uh, wards in uh, county assembly, uh, 35 uh, county assembly uh, in uh, county assemblies in uh, this particular county. So uh, we are talking about uh, this being uh, July, uh, Wakaba, it means harvesting time. Uh, in this part of the lake region and talking about harvesting of course we are talking about sorghum uh, which is one of the key ingredients that will be required in the 15 billion east african breweries limited uh, plant so uh, we are talking about over 15,000 farmers who will be heading uh, to, to the market which is already there to sell their produce so it's a journey that has been that has taken quite some time all the way from july last year uh, when remember President Uru Kenyatta had a taste of a keg from the plant and it was quite a star in the social media. So uh, we are talking East African Breweries Limited plant, uh, which uh, of course was supposed to be, uh, was supposed to start the production around this time. But of course, I am here with uh, Mr. Eric Initi, who is uh, the Corporate Affairs Director, who will probably explain to us which way do we move from here uh, regarding uh, this particular plant which is expected to provide employment uh, to over just 100 direct employment and of course over 1,000 through the, the, the supply chain. Welcome to KTN Business. So where do we move from here? We are aware that we are supposed to have a taste of the keg right now. So which, where, 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 where are we heading right now? What, uh, how soon is it? Yeah, so the plant will be opening in a few months. Uh, so what we have done so far is uh, the construction has been going on very well. As you remember last year when the president was, uh, came for the groundbreaking, we had committed to complete the plant within 24 months. We are way on course to do that another time. Uh, so what we started with was ensuring that we work with uh, farmers to, because we need the, the grain to be able to use that for brewing. So we are happy with the progress we made so far. As you've mentioned, we have just finished uh, the season. We are just at the tail end of the season and we are receiving the grain. It's high quality. There were a bit of challenge with the, with the rains because some places got flooded. So we lost a bit of crop with some of the farmers. But we are happy with the gains we made so far because we are uh, estimating that we will be able to collect about 5,000 metric tons, uh, which is good for, for one season. The farmers also gearing up for the next season, which will start in September. And right now, we are, they, are, they are getting ready for that. And we are, we are very happy with the progress we're making. Uh, is it, will it suffice to mention that we have individual and uh, groups who are involved in this particular exercise? Yes, so we have contracted farmers directly, uh, so we have some individual farmers, but we have a lot of other groups, so some are women groups, uh, and, and others are community groups who have come together to work together, which helps them in terms of economies of scale, they can be able to hire equipment uh, jointly. 
they're able to prove to have labor uh, recruited jointly which has really worked for for us very well and we must say that being the first season it's quite tremendous in terms of the work that the people of Kisumu and the surrounding counties have been able to do in terms of delivering to us the grain we are talking about 15,000 contracted farmers uh, probably what what does this mean in terms of the earnings that we expect from this particular harvest in the region so the earnings that we expect in this uh, particular year it will be slightly just below 1 billion shillings to the farmers, which is quite significant. Uh, remember, uh, sorghum is a crop that takes a very short time to grow. Within three and a half months, you've harvested. So uh, we, we allow the farmers to intercrop the, the, the seasons. So there's a crop rotation so that, again, they are not, the, the soils uh, are not depleted completely so they can uh, intercrop with other legumes. And what we are seeing is that... Uh, the, the dedication that the farmers have taken, it has really helped them. One of the things they did was before they went to, into this scheme, we took them to parts of uh, mountain region to see what the farmers in the Rakanidi and Meru are doing. And they were able to get good insights on how the farmers there have been able to do it. With, since then, they have been uh, in this program for over five years. And taking those learnings, they came in, they have taken it up very well. And we believe that the incomes that are generating are actually going to help change their lives. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Kiniti, for that uh, very comprehensive uh, input into what's going on right now. So, uh, Wakaba, we are uh, talking about over 1 billion uh, that will be in circulation thanks to this initiative, uh, a 15 billion investment that is the EABL uh, plant right here in Kisumu. And, uh, of course, we are talking about over 15,000 uh, farmers who will be smiling all the way to the bank, of course, after having successfully uh, cultivated the crops. Remember, the, the, the plant, the, 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 the management of the East African Broad Limited also came in and uh, put in over 80 tons of seed together, seedlings together with uh, the technical support that the farmers required. So, uh, of course, it has been mentioned we had floods in this part of the region, but, of course, uh, the damage was minimal. So that's what we have from Kisumu. Back to you in studio, uh, Peter Wakaba. Did, uh, thank you very, very much. There, Kevin Ogutu coming live uh, to us from the Lakeside region of Kisumu. And of course